What's up guys? Welcome back to Topless Baker. Now this week we are going to make a salted chocolate frostina. Now I know that sounds a little bit odd but there is a reason behind it and a tiny little bit of science. And for this video I've teamed up with Costa who've released seven new summer flavours for their decadent frostina range. And they said to me, hey Matt, do you think you can make a recipe inspired by one of our frostina flavours? And I said, hey Costa, I'm going to try your frostinas and I'm going to come up with my own recipe. How about that? And they said, okay, I like where you're going with this. So what I did is I tried the caramel fudge and I tried the Belgian chocolate and I kind of married these two together but then added my own twist and we're going to do salted chocolate frostina. And the salt is really important here because there's some science on your tongue where when you add salt it enhances the sweetness of the chocolate so it makes it even better and even more decadent. So what we're going to, need to start off with is make our chocolate sauce which is going to line our gorgeous glasses. Now in my bowl here I have lots of chocolatey goodness. I've got sugar flour which is going to help thicken this chocolate sauce and then cocoa powder I and mean, it's really important here that you use like a good cocoa powder because it's going to make that chocolatey flavour even better and I'm going to put this into a pan and I'm literally just going to whisk it together until all of those lumps are removed. Now once you mix that all together and it's lumpy free as I'm going to call it what I've got here is some warm milk and some melted butter okay so this mixture is warm and you're going to slowly pour this into the pan you're going to put it over a medium heat and you're going to constantly whisk this until you've kind of got out all those lumps and you've added all of this wet mixture and then put it on a really low simmer and just keep whisking it it's going to take about five or six minutes until it's nice and thick and you can take it off the heat let it cool and we're ready to dress our glass now we have got this glorious bowl of chocolate sauce and I'll be honest the recipe I've given you it makes a lot of chocolate sauce but you can stir it stir it store it and you can use it at another time so save that because it's really good and I've put mine into a piping bag and it's been cooling for five minutes so it's cooled pretty quickly and I'm going to snip the end off okay Bop, like that and we're going to just create like a drizzle in the inside of these I'm using milk bottles they're like mini milk bottles and literally I'm going to take my piping bag I'm going to pop it into my milk jug and I'm just going to start kind of drizzling and then once you're done drizzling that you can kind of just set these guys to one side and we're going to get on with the star of the show which is the salted chocolate frostino now I've got all of my frostino ingredients in me so I've got ice cream cocoa powder sugar I've got ice which is really important because that is what makes it so refreshing the ice cream makes it super decadent and then we're just going to add it all into a blender so I've got milk and vanilla extract in there and literally just dump in all your ingredients and then I'm going to add four scoops of ice cream because I want this to have that creaminess that the Frostino has so I'm going to take a big scoop that is way bigger than one but I'm still going to count it as one and literally just drop these guys in and then finally the key element which is the ice and this is just going to make it super refreshing almost give it that texture that you want to a frostino i'm going to add kind of a handful three or four cubes you can add more you can add less whatever you fancy and then that is it we are going to blend this guy up so stick your lid on get on there and then just give it a blitz so we've given that a good blitz and now you need to have a taste test because we've still got that secret element of the salt to go so i'm going to have a little spoonful Mm, it's just so chocolatey. You can drink it like that, but I need the salt. And for this, what I'm going to use is sea salt flakes. So have a look at these flakes. It's different to kind of using a table salt. There are these really kind of thick, almost chunks of salt that you want to go in. So to mine, I'm going to add probably two and a half good pinches. In we go, ta 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 ta, and then we blitz it once more, and the salted chocolate. Frostino is done. Okay, and now for the final salty taste test. Here we go. One more taste. Ooh, it just has that sweet chocolateness, and then it goes pow! Hey, salt! Pow, pow, pow! Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, I'm ready to drink it. I'm gonna get one of my glasses. This is all set. Look how glorious that is. That lovely little design that was just a really quick easy chocolate sauce and then we're just going to pour this guy in and top it up oh, okay there we go look i dropped a little bit around the edge oh it's just so good i'm going to put in a fancy little straw 
Have a look at that. Fancy fancy or what? I mean that looks professional, doesn't it? Look at that. I made my own Frostino, guys. I'm pretty proud. Are you proud of me, Costa? I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did a good job. All right, I'm gonna have a taste. Here we go. Stop it. Stop it. That is just, oh, it's got that rich chocolatiness. Then goes pow, 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 and it just hits you with that salt. It's absolutely delicious, oh my goodness. And the beauty of this is you can add more milk if you wanna make it a little bit thinner. You can add ice cream, you can add more ice if you wanna make it thicker. Just play around, there's seven different flavors on their menu to get inspired by. I don't think you're gonna beat my mashup of the salt of chocolate though, so I challenge you. Come on, can you make a better Frostina than me? I don't know guys, I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to Topless Baker. Bye. What's up guys, welcome back to Topless, nah, let's do that again. And I said, hey what, you know what? Hey what, hey what, hey what?